Little Jordanian's bike was stolen. I think he was in London. Went into a friend's house for just 10 minutes, came out, and his bike was gone. So some dickless wonder probably rolled up with a van and had his buddies just lift it, toss it in the back of the van, and roll away. Really shitty. I could totally empathize. I've never had a vehicle stolen, but I have had vehicles destroyed in crashes. My wife has been in a couple different head-on collisions where somebody pulled out in front of her at a uh, green light and uh, did not have the right of way. Just made. Just made a left-hand turn right in front of her. The last crash was a drunk. She got life flighted for that. It was a freaky situation. I'll talk about that another time. But um, so I've had two or three different cars. I know the the Civic Si hatchback that we had and uh, Acura Integra, and then she also had her Acclaim. Somebody pulled out of a fast food uh, driveway with no warning whatsoever and just wrecked the front of her car. So she's had bad luck a while ago, but since that last nasty crash, she's done a lot better. So three different cars over the course of man, five or six years, you just get them completely taken away from you by some jackass. And uh, while it's not quite the same situation where somebody walks up and makes your vehicle disappear, you still go through the same kind of financial bullshit and uh, have to fight with the insurance company over the value of the vehicle. You've got all this time and depending on how attached you are to it, emotion from all of the work and tweaks and just fine tuning to get it set up exactly like you want, and you're the one that broke it in and you know every little detail and it just kind of becomes your, like back in old days, like your horse. And to have that just stripped away from you by some asshole is just messed up. So, totally empathize. He's probably got to deal with the insurance company. He said he's got another bike on order that we're going to see in September, but having to deal with the insurance company to fight for what the value of the bike is. And of course you can't buy them in the UK anymore. I don't think you could ever buy them in the United States, so. They're extra rare and hard to find. And hopefully that means that the value of the bike, he's not getting screwed over financially, but if you think about it and you're a younger guy or a gal who just got into motorcycling, you don't know anything about how insurance works, and you decide that the thousand dollar deductible is a great idea because it'll save you money, well if you live in a major city and somebody walks off with your bike, now you're on the hook for a thousand dollars before they'll even uh, take care of you. And that thousand dollars is just gone, you don't recoup that. Not unless they recover your motorcycle, which then it just... <laughs> At that point, you've, your ignition is usually messed up. The bike's been probably crashed because they want joyriding on it or who knows what, but I know a few people have had their vehicles stolen, stolen, including chain link. Chain link had his R1 stolen. It was just a seriously screwed up situation. When he got the bike back, it was just, I don't know, kind of heartbreaking to see that he'd still have to do work to it, but I feel for Royal Jardinian. That bike was just gorgeous, had an amazing sound, and uh, as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, holy shit, I'm, I, I really want a supermoto. I don't, I'd wanted one for a while, but when I heard his bike, I was like, oh. <laughs> I pretty much immediately went to the Husqvarna website 
And then, of course, was suddenly let down because they don't sell the bike anymore. It's kind of the same situation with the KTM uh, big supermotos. They, KTM doesn't sell those in the States anymore. So, oh well. At least the other manufacturers are doing naked bikes. But I'm not in the market for a naked bike unless it's a Street Fighter based on the new Panigale engine or a uh, possibly a new Diablo. So that's what the next vlog is going to be about. We got uh, some spy shots that I found on Asphalt and Rubber and a few other sites and if it's the new Diablo, it's pretty interesting. But you'll hear about that again later. I'll see you guys next time. Let's go.